save or export your work so every so often we should be saving our work i recommend every 10 minutes or less or whenever your rear end leaves the seat of your chair so to save our work we're going to go to file and we're going to go to save scene so i hit save scene and it will save that file to the folder location and file name since your last save now uh, if I want to give it a new name with a new file name, I'm going to go up to File and say Save Scene As. I like to think of this as a photocopy. So I'm just going to come in here and I'll say uh, this is Save As Example. Okay? And so I think of it as a photocopy. Uh, when I hit Save, this now becomes uh, the new file with a whole new file name. So I have this sculpt save as example. We also have another way of doing this, which is increment and save. When I go up to file and I go to increment and save, this is going to create a new version of the scene with the same exact name. And it's going to append an increment value. The increment value is going to be dot zero 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 one and then it'll each time after that it'll go up by one so let's do that i'll go increment and save and i'll go along and you know make some um, make some change here maybe all right i'll make some small changes to this thumb there and i'll go up and i'll say increment and save and and so let's go and take a look now if I'm going to, let's just say, I'm going to jump to a new scene. And uh, so I'm just going to say close. I'm just going to have a blank scene here. Let's go into the files. Noticed here that my save as example, that's the file name I had here. And here are my increment and in save. So each one is different, it has a different file in itself. So it's, it's like version control. And so uh, version two, will only, it will have everything, including the thumb edit that I made. And version one won't have that editing to the thumb. So this is a good way of um, making some assurance that you're uh, keeping valuable files um, with some incremental save so that you can go back to an older version. Uh, we also, uh, and let me go back here and open this file again. Let me go back to, um, let's go to version here and say, all right. And another thing we can do is we can export uh, a portion of the scene or model and to do that, I'm going to come down to my Select and Move tools. I'm going to pick on an object and select the object. The object will turn yellow when it's selected. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Export Selection. When I do that, I can export this as an OBJ, a MUD file, or an FBX file. And I'm going to change those right here, down in this type. All right. Typically, if you want to go to Mudbox, we're going to choose Mudbox. But if you want to go to some other application, we're going to choose an Autodesk FBX file. Uh, this carries its paint files and, and posing and all that kind of stuff, where the object files is just a geometry file. There'll be no painting. So I don't recommend that. Uh, I recommend the FBX or Mudbox if you're staying within Mudbox. So you just give it a name and you hit save and we've exported out uh, some selected portion or model of our scene. So these are the methods we can save or export our work in Mudbox.